Welcome to Exciting Archaeology News. In this episode, we're taking you on a thrilling journey to explore the startling secrets hidden in the seven most unsettling cave discoveries in the world. But before we commence, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more intriguing content like this in the future. Our adventure at number seven begins with the tale of the Crystal Maiden. Deep within Belize's Taper Mountain Nature Reserve lies the remote Acton Tunichel Muknal Cave, a labyrinth of tunnels and chambers housing a treasure trove of almost 1,400 ancient relics, including Mayan ceramics and formations adorned with mysterious figures. Discovered in 1989 by archaeologist Dr. Jamie Awe, the cave's calcification process and remote location have remarkably preserved these artifacts, offering a glimpse into the past. Disturbingly, dozens of Maya skeletons were found in one chamber, dating back to 700 to 900 AD, showing signs of violent deaths and cranial deformations, giving them an otherworldly appearance. The most fascinating find was the perfectly preserved skeleton of an 18-year-old girl, dubbed the Crystal Maiden. Believed to be a sacrificial victim, the reasons behind these rituals remain a mystery. The cave's significance in Mayan beliefs lies in its connection to the underworld, inhabited by malevolent demons responsible for suffering and misfortune. The creepy ancient traditions and rituals associated with this cave had led locals to believe it remains cursed and haunted to this day. Though this cave draws some tourists, photography is strictly prohibited due to a tragic incident where a visitor accidentally damaged one of the fragile skulls by dropping a camera. Despite its haunting past, the Crystal Maiden continues to captivate those who venture into its depths. Moving on to our next intriguing tale, at number six, we encounter an extraordinary revelation surrounding a hybrid animal. Millennia-old cave paintings paved the way for a remarkable discovery in 2016, unveiled by an interdisciplinary team of archaeologists, paleontologists, and geneticists. They uncovered a previously unknown hybrid animal depicted in these ancient cave art. The focus of their investigation was on Europe's largest land mammal, the European bison, whose origin had long remained a mystery. It was an unexpected guest in the fossil record, making its appearance only about 11,700 years ago, around the end of the last ice age. Through the careful analysis of 64 bison genomes and deliberate comparison with ancient European cave art, the researchers made a groundbreaking connection. They found that the emergence of the new hybrid bison perfectly coincided with the depictions in the ancient paintings. Before this revelation, scholars had assumed that the different bison forms represented mere artistic stylistic changes. However, the 2016 study shed light on the enigma, explaining why variations in bison remain from the Ice Age era were not uniform in size and morphology. Despite this groundbreaking discovery, a lingering mystery remains. The researchers were unable to find a complete skull of the hybrid animal, which leaves many questions unanswered. Consequently, precise knowledge of its appearance, behavior, and dietary habits still eludes us. This newfound knowledge, however, opens a doorway to fascinating speculations about other yet-to-be-discovered creatures depicted in ancient cave art and the possibility of humans coexisting with these enigmatic beings in the distant past. Our focus now turns to number five, Royston Cave, a remarkable man-made wonder hidden beneath the streets of Royston, England. This cave was accidentally discovered in August of 1742 by workers digging a hole for a bench. Hidden behind a millstone was a shaft leading to a vast artificial cave that left everyone in awe of its existence. Standing 26 feet tall and spanning 17 feet in width, the bell-shaped cavern is believed to have been crafted between the 14th and 17th centuries. Adorned with medieval religious carvings, the cave is a treasure trove of Catholic imagery, depicting scenes from the Bible and prominent saints of the time. Numerous theories have arisen regarding the cave's purpose and origin. One popular hypothesis is that it served as a headquarters for the Knights Templar in the early 13th century, potentially holding secrets relating to the mythical Holy Grail. Advocates of this theory point to carvings resembling the coded symbols of the Knights Templar. Augustinian monks, on the other hand, argue that the cave was a simple storehouse for keeping produce cool, sometimes used as a chapel for prayers. Another theory ties the cave to King James I, who is believed to have utilized it during his time when he had a palace nearby. Since 1790, the enigmatic Royston Cave has been open to the public, drawing thousands of curious visitors from around the world. 
Despite centuries of exploration, the true purpose and origin of this underground marvel remain an enduring mystery. Now, let's venture into the depths of number 4, Mammoth Cave, a place where natural wonder intertwines with spine-tingling tales. This colossal underground labyrinth holds the distinction of being the world's largest known cave system and has attracted hundreds of thousands of visitors annually. Even before becoming a national park in 1941, Mammoth Cave was steeped in lure, with stories of the supernatural woven into its rich history. While some have speculated about spiritual significance for Native Americans, historical documentation to support such claims remains elusive. Nevertheless, the cave continues to be a source of marvel, history, and ghostly legends. One of the most compelling tales revolves around Old Lewis, a former slave who was a daring cave explorer. After his death, he was buried near the cave entrance, later becoming a tourist attraction. Visitors reported witnessing his ghostly apparition in the cave, but the sightings ceased after his remains were returned to the graveyard. Ghost stories and horrifying encounters abound in Mammoth Cave, some of which have been documented by Charles Hannion, a seasoned park guide. Among the reported spirits is Floyd Collins, the renowned cave explorer whose presence has been felt both within the cave system and at his final resting place. The cave's history also includes tragic deaths and preserved mummies discovered due to the unique cave conditions. Legends of mysterious creatures, such as a monster in the Green River, and sightings of Bigfoot in the nearby woods adds an air of intrigue to the area. While some experiences can be attributed to the natural wonders of the cave, the names of its features and the area's rich history contribute to the proliferation of supernatural tales. Moving on to our next unsettling cave at number three, we venture into the depths of New Zealand's Mount Owen. An extraordinary discovery emerged in 1987 during an expedition into newly found caves. Among rockfall debris, explorers found the remains of a dinosaur-like claw, astonishingly preserved with flesh and scaly skin, belonging to the upland moa, a colossal wingless bird from ancient times. DNA analysis revealed the moa's existence on Earth dated back up to a staggering 8.5 million years with approximately 10 distinct species varying in size from 12 feet tall and 510 pounds to the size of a turkey. Tragically, the magnificent moa met a swift extinction by 1400, largely due to relentless hunting by Maori hunters. The mummified claw, though nearly 3300 years old, appeared eerily fresh and detailed. Despite this find, the mystery of moa sightings persisted. In 1993, a hotel owner and mountaineer claimed to have spotted a six-foot moa, supported by a blurry photograph, but subsequent expeditions failed to prove its existence, affecting his reputation. In 2008, cryptozoologists claimed to have taken casts of moa footprints on a remote northern island, sparking speculation that it could be the same creature from 1987 roaming the wilderness. The Moa Claw now rests in the Museum of New Zealand, Te Papa Tangerawa, captivating visitors worldwide. Recent rumors suggest British scientists are exploring the possibility of cloning this magnificent bird, reigniting the chance of the Moa's return from history's shadows. Now brace yourselves for a spine-tingling tale as we delve into the haunting history of number two on our list, The Devil's Hole. This enigmatic cave hidden within the Niagara Gorge brims with eerie legends of bloodshed, curses, and diabolical encounters. Native American lore claims it was born from a sinister encounter with the Devil's Snake, shrouding it in mystery and reverence. Over time, Devil's Hole faced challenges like construction disturbances, graffiti invasion, and relentless destruction, shrinking it from a mile to 42 feet. Two curses added to its ominous reputation. One befell daring adventurers who ventured into its depths, while the other plagued the cave itself. Despite its tumultuous history, Devil's Hole attracts all manners of explorers, tourists, and adventure enthusiasts. Its allure sparks questions about humanity's fascination with subterranean voids, seen also in other caves in western New York. For the Seneca Nation, Devil's Hole holds deep cultural significance, intertwined with creation stories. Renowned French explorer La Salle visited the cave in 1679, facing subsequent misfortunes. A brutal 1763 massacre stained the nearby creek with blood, earning it the name Bloody Run. Today, reaching Devil's Hole is perilous due to rockfalls, and safety concerns discourage visits. 
Historical records describe the cave as an extensive network of passages, but construction in the 1800s sealed off parts, reducing its size. Attempts to photograph unexplored regions yielded puzzling images, igniting a desire to uncover missing passages and geological secrets. The purpose of mysterious drill holes, an enigmatic man-made well, and hidden sections remain unanswered. And now, prepare yourselves for the most chilling tale of number one on our list. The Catskills Devil In January of 2016, Reddit users were shaken by a series of unsettling pictures posted online. A wooden statue found deep within a haunting Catskill Mountains cave during a hike. This creepy figure depicted a human-like form wearing unsettling garments, with nails driven into its eyes and a haunting noose around its neck. The Reddit user, known as Danny, claimed to have discovered the statue with a friend during their hike. But things took a sinister turn when they decided to relocate the statue, triggering a string of unexplainable and ominous events. Foul odors filled the air, objects moved on their own, and eerie knocking disturbed the night's silence. Muddy footprints appeared around their homes without any logical explanation. Desperate for answers, they sought advice from the Reddit community, with speculations ranging from devil worshippers to cursed objects. Later that year, they sent the statue to the Traveling Museum of the Paranormal and Occult, where it baffled experts by seemingly moving on its own and even breaking a crucifix. Psychics and experts from across the country offered chilling interpretations. Some believed it housed non-human spirits, while others saw it as a vessel for inflicting harm. Attempts were made to exorcise the figure with holy water, but the sinister energy persisted. The Crown of the Catskills, as it was dubbed, remains in the possession of the museum's owners, continuing to terrify and baffle all who encounter it. In the depths of historical mysteries, we ventured and unearthed secrets long concealed. With wonder in our hearts and curiosity ablaze, we now bid you farewell, dear explorers. But fear not, for our journey continues, fueled by an insatiable thirst for knowledge. So subscribe and ring the bell as exciting archaeology news persists in unraveling the mysteries of our past. Until our paths converge once more, stay curious, stay bold, and may the quest for knowledge never cease.